killing me. The L to the K I N. It's little Kim the sex pistol. Hey, what's going on, everybody? January flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And if you're seeing me, then you know it's time to spill that bad boys Texas tea. Yes, we are up to episode eight. If you are familiar with the channel, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, like the video, share the video, and consider subscribing if you enjoy this content. Now, episode eight of Bad Boys Texas. What is a given pool? So, jumping straight into this episode y'all straight into it fresh off of father's day okay period we see that relly b is jumping on curion curion and relly b are going back and forth they managed to pull relly b off of curion on the bus curion was like <laughs> curion was on the phone with nelly talking about i'm gonna call you back i'm gonna call you back though relly b said fix your head you look a mess you look terrible. That's what Riley B kept saying to carry on. After the scuffle, the guys managed to make it to the studio. Now, when the guys walked into the studio after everything that happened on the bus, they was like the studio was small. It seemed janky. This is according to Chef D. Chef D was not happy with the look of that studio. Um, carry on was outside talking to production and carry on was like, I'm not going in there if the vibe not right, if the vibe feeling iffy, I'm not going in. So the producer lady goes in to analyze the situation. But Mo City and I believe Orlando come outside and kind of convince Curion to come back on board. In the midst of the scuffle, Chef D's cup was moved on a bus or whatever. He was assaulted, I guess, via a drink before, like someone laced the drink, basically. So he was being really serious about that. And of course, if that has happened to you before, I'm not minimizing the situation, but it was that. And I did, I'm like, it's cameras everywhere. Do you really think that? But maybe something really happened. We see Curion go into the studio and Curion and Relly B manage to have a conversation and actually squash the beef. And they hug it out. And in the midst of that, the guys start to jump on the track. Now, I thought this was cool. Orlando showed off his vocal skills this episode, giving vocal acrobat, if you will. Yes. So um, I did like that. Adonis showed off on the mic. I was like, get him, Donnie. Rally was trying to create the ultimate hook, if you will. Rally was doing some of the latest things. I said, get them, Rells. Yes. Oh, here we go. Here come the drama. Prince. Prince was so over the studio session because Prince said he felt like it was trashy. He said he felt like that whole situation was trash canned. He felt like... He didn't think that the song was going to be given what it needed to give. He felt like an hour is not good enough for 10 artists, which is true. Prince, I do agree with you on that. You do need a little bit more time. You go talk about last season's song was me in one hour. And he said, you can tell. So I was like, ooh, he's digging into those deeper details. He's letting it be known. So Prince was basically saying that he doesn't appreciate um, the time they had in the studio, basically. So now after the studio session, we see a scene of um, Relly B packing to leave the house. Now, Relly B says that he did have a family friend who, you know, tried to delete themselves if that makes sense you know youtube is particular hopefully you guys understand when i say certain things i know some of you in the comment section will be like what do you mean just hit me up in them comments or if you feel that confused send it all a dm or email it's it's never that serious okay but just listen i can't say certain words i'm protecting the channel you know um so delete so Relly b is packing to leave he said he may come back to the house it's up, but he is going home to be with the family. Now, this next situation I thought was crazy because it came out of nowhere. Raz B versus Orlando Brown. Now, supposedly they were brothers of the industry. And now they're outside arguing and scuffling. Now, and the thing is, Raz B seemed to be very active. Like, he wanted to really get to those deeper details. Orlando was giving, I'm just going to ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes. We all fall down. He was running around. Around, like I, I don't know what it was given. Jonathan, which was hilarious, y'all. Jonathan was watching, <laughs> watching him like a house mother from the doorway of the house with this blonde wig, <laughs> and like he had this, like I don't know if it was a cigarette or a blunt or something in his hand. It's like you know when a mother is watching the kids through the screen in the house, and you can't really see her in the doorway, so you outside playing, and, she, and he was just sitting there like. 
like watching him like mm -hmm. then he went over there to address Raz B and did you guys notice from the doorway to him getting a Raz B that wig was off when um Jonathan was at the house he was like with the wig and stuff on and then when he got over to the scene child that wig was off mask off he had some mask off <laughs> oh, Rasby please Adonis said he'll um, murk Rasby yeah so now after Jonathan checked Rasby and was like what you want to fight him for what you going after him for that's when a gentleman um, load up on the bus if you will now Rasby still acting up y'all he is a Gemini king please listen to the deeper details he is a Gemini king which means he will be giving you those deeper details um, you know what it, it is what it is at one point you know what I'm saying it is what it is at one point he is a Gemini king <laughs> So when Raz B was getting on the bus because he was acting up, if you will, Adonis said that he would murk Raz B. Ooh. Now, you know, depending on where you come from, you don't play with those words. So Raz B got really, you know, felt some type of way about Adonis saying that he would murk him. But Adonis did clear this up in the next scene. He said where he's from, they say I'll murk you. But where he's from, murk just means fight. Where I'm from, you don't say that because it does mean they after you. But I guess where he's from, you can say things like that and it just means fight. Oh, I don't know, but that's what he was saying. Prince and Res B have a weird moment outside too before getting on the bus. Uh, it was minor. Prince um, wants the guys to really turn up. He said he wants Chef D to turn up like Ice Spice on the mic. And that's when Chef D was like this, but that song ain't giving it. I was like, that is so funny. Because Prince was like, I want you to turn up. I want you to be like Ice Spice. Chef said that song ain't giving it. I was like, oh my God, but it's funny. Because the clip they show for next week, guess who was in the booth? S sounded like Ice Spice. Uh-huh. I'm getting money. I know who I am. Like, bruh, keep it a stack. <laughs> Like, I just fell in love with a gangster. I got thick from eating my oat in the hood. I'm like Princess Diana. Anyway, that's what he said he wanted from him. But he said he not giving it. Better studio. Raspy is crazy. Yes, Jonathan knocked Raspy. Yes. So now the guys, after that situation, they pull up to a better studio. All the guys seem to like to like the studio y'all res b is off the chain res b did not ride with the guys to the studio res b caused such a scene y'all and i'm not making this stuff up that he had to ride separately now this is the t of this episode this episode was kind of boring by the way y'all so you know run them likes up send your girl a cash app or two um because sometimes this stuff would just be so boring but when res b pulled up to the studio he came in there talking about, I'm going to clear everyone. i knock anybody head off. Mind you, the guys had just arrived like 10 minutes before him. So he come to the studio acting up, bucking up, if you will. Child, you don't mess with Mama Jonathan. Jonathan walked to that entryway and knocked him immediately. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you correct a child. Some situations you need to address. Jonathan had to address the situation and the situation got addressed. Now, after Jonathan knocked him, do you know Prince started screaming? So I'm looking at my screen. I'm like, what's going on with what? Child, he had good reason. Raz B pulls out a blade or two and lets it be known that um he ain't nothing to be played with. So that's where it cuts off and it looks like... It's getting to that level. Now, I see what's going on. The producers had pulled Rasby off the bus. Rasby was on one, really acting like he was on something, right? The producers kept telling Rasby, give me what's in your pocket. Rasby, what's in your pocket? Now, security may have seen something we didn't see on camera. You know how Zeus is very janky and it can be lazy with the edits. So, I didn't see what actually was done. But when Prince started yelling, saying he got that blade on him, he got to watch it, watch it, all this commotion and stuff going on. I said a Gemini has entered the party. Yes! One thing about a Jimmy, and I have a lot of Gemini friends, you can do them, but they're going to do you worse. You can think that they're over it, they're never over it. Please understand that. And I think that's why I get along with so many Geminis, because... I, I don't, first of all, I don't poke the bear. And secondly, we cool. You know, for the most part, I understand how they feel. And the thing is, to me, it makes sense. I don't know. Is it is it me? I don't know. I don't mind a Gemini. So I get it. For him showing up to the party with a blade or two, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. He felt unsafe. That's what people are missing. Some people are saying, well, you can tell that Raz B was on one. You can tell that Raz B just wanted to pop off, if you will. Well, 
Look at the deeper details. Something's going on. You see what I'm saying? You walking around with a blade or two. People talking about you're taking, you know, other substances in the home. What's really going on? Now, like I said, this uh, that's next week. Next week we see that um, Jonathan is leaving the studio. He's over it. We also see that it seems to be more of the rounds of Jonathan versus Raz B again in the situation. This time it's a club appearance. Y'all, I saw Natalie getting in the mix of it. Natalie looked like she was on Raz B's side of the situation at the moment. Mm-hmm. You know how Natalie do. Deeper detail. But, um... Um, overall, I did get filler from this episode. For it to be a Father's Day episode, I think they could have went off a little bit more. Not that they had to wrap it around Father's Day, but I'll tell you this. A deeper detail and what would have given us a closer insight to some of the guys on cast is if we would have known, like, oh, who's a father? Or, you know, this episode may premiere on Father's Day, so let's do a little Father's Day segment. Are you a dad? What what makes you proud to be a father? Or something like that. I think that would have showed that they can get to the bag. And they can also handle responsibilities as well. Um, who stood out to me this episode? Definitely Raz B. He definitely is letting that Gemini King side of him be known. You know, you can think he's one way. Definitely show you another side of himself. Just be prepared for it you know um jonathan with that wig you had me gagged honey i got my laughs tonight you know what i'm saying i can always get a chuckle or two from jonathan or ara ara or jonathan definitely keep the season going for me i'm a comedy queen you know what i'm saying i love a laugh or two and they come with this so you know what i'm saying it is what it is but you guys stay locked to the channel i will be recapping um the baddies east auditions as well just stay locked to the channel i've been a little busy you know your girl is still around you know what i'm saying it is what it is at one point but i'm not going anywhere and hopefully neither are you stay locked to the channel and i will see you guys on the next video but remember this do the best you can with what you got and i will see you on my next video bye